Hi everybody. Today on Rachel Cooks with Love, I'm going to be making picadillo tradicional. Now this is a ground beef and vegetable dish. And it's a dish that my mom prepared for us often when we were growing up. And everybody that I know absolutely loves it. It's very easy to put together. And today I'm going to show you how to make it step by step. Let's get started. So these are the ingredients that I'm going to be using today. So I've got one pound of 80-20 ground beef, two large Roma tomatoes, and I have diced them into small pieces. I have two russet potatoes, and I've diced these into small pieces too. I have half a cup of diced carrots, half a cup of tomato sauce. I have two large jalapenos. Now I cut these jalapenos in half. I removed all the seeds, and then I cut them into strips and then into thirds, just like this, see? Now, if you don't want to use jalapenos because you're afraid of them, then you can just use either yellow bell pepper, you can use the green or the orange. Now, once you remove the seeds, they're pretty good. They just give you a light little kick, but it's up to you if you want to use them or not. I've got half of a small onion that I have chopped up into small pieces, a small bunch of cilantro. It's about a fourth of a cup and it's nice and chopped. I'm going to be using some salt, one bay leaf that I broke in half, three-fourths of a teaspoon of peppercorn, and I've got a fourth of a teaspoon of salt in there because this is going to help me grind it. And I have three-fourths of a teaspoon of whole cumin and two large garlic cloves. So now that you've seen the ingredients, we can go to the stove. So I'm going to be using this stainless steel brazier, and I've got my heat set on medium. I'm going to add my ground beef. Now you don't want big clumps of ground beef, so you want to break it down. Now the reason that I'm using 80-20 instead of lean ground beef, because I know some of you may say, well, I wonder why she uses 80-20 if it's greasy instead of using lean ground beef. Well, I think that the 80-20 has the best flavor. It's kind of like a steak. You know, if it has good marbling, you know it's going to be good. You don't want a very lean steak because then it's going to dry up on you and it's not going to have good flavor. I think it's the same thing with the 80-20 ground beef. Now, if I were to use lean ground beef, by the time I'm done with my dish, this is going to be like cardboard, real dry. Now, that's my opinion. So that's why I use 80-20 ground beef. So I'm going to be moving this around just until it loses its pink color. So while my ground beef is browning on the stove, I'm going to grind my spices. I'm going to put in my peppercorns. See, with a little bit of the salt. And I'm going to put in my cumin. Now I'm going to grind this up really good. Now if you don't have a molcajete, or you don't want to use one, you can use a powdered form. But I think that the freshly ground spices bring out the best flavor in this dish. So I'm done grinding my cumin and my peppercorn. Look at this. Now I'm going to add my garlic cloves. I'm going to cut them up so they'll be easier to grind, just like this. Now I'm going to grind these up too. So now that I have my garlic ground up really well, see, I'm going to add half a cup of water in here. And then I'm going to bring this in together really well. Just like this, look at that. So now I'm just gonna let it sit here for a little bit until I'm ready to use it. Now, as you can see, my ground beef is nice and brown and I have removed all the grease that it rendered, see? But I left a little bit in here because we do need a little bit. Now I'm gonna add my onions. The onions always go first because you want for them to sizzle real good in the grease so that they can release their flavor. You add other vegetables in here like your carrots and tomatoes, then these are going to boil instead of sizzle real good. And that's what you want. So I'm going to move them around until they get slightly translucent, just like this. Now I'm going to bring everything in together like that. My onions are slightly translucent and they have released their flavor. Can you hear the sizzle in there? That's why the onions go in there by themselves. Now we're going to add our potatoes. The potatoes take the longest, so you want to put them in first.
Now I'm going to add my jalapenos. Now I'm just going to let these cook for about one minute before I add my other ingredients. So after one minute, I'm going to add my spices. Now I'm going to add my carrots. I'm going to add my tomatoes. I'm going to add my cilantro. My bay leaf. I'm going to add some salt. You can add as much salt as you want. You'll be tasting it as you go along. Now bring it all in together like this. Now I'm going to add my tomato sauce. This is going to give it a delicious flavor and a very pretty color. I'm going to add about half a cup of water in here because these tomatoes are going to get a little mushy and then they're going to add a lot of liquid in here. So that's about half a cup of water right there. I'm going to lower my temperature to a medium low and I'm going to let it cook like this for about 25 to 30 minutes uncovered. Now every three or four minutes I'll come and I'll give it a light stir just like that. So while my picadillo is cooking on a medium low heat I'm going to start with my refried beans. I have one tablespoon of bacon grease and I'm going to add one fourth of a cup of diced onions like this. And I'm going to wait until they get nice and toasty and they release their flavor. I'm going to add my beans. Ooh, the smell of the bacon grease with the onions. Look at these pieces of ham hock. I'm going to wait until they get nice and hot before I mash them. Our picadillo is ready. Look at this. I just tasted it just to make sure, but it's absolutely perfect. So now we're ready to serve. I'm going to add some beans. Just like that. So now I'm going to show you how I like to eat it. Very simple. Like to get me some of this. Mmm. My limeade iced tea. Mm. Oh man. This is absolutely delicious. I mean, this is comfort food at its very best. So, this is my picadillo tradicional with vegetables. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment and tell me if you've ever had this before. Thank you.